de Baker, faculty, staff, and students of Symbiosis Institute of Management Studies, I, Abhim Tartkar, welcome you to today's guest session on social change in work from home mode using management fundamentals. Today, we have with us Dr. Jalpesh Mehta. Sir is a seasoned global banker with over two decades of corporate experience, but besides this, he is also known name in the Indian environment circles for conservation of Asiatic lions and leopards as a founder of Mumbai-based non-for-profit Empower Foundation, which is one of the key organizations in the Save RA movement. He is also empaneled with Niti IU, Government of India as a mentor for imbibing the culture of entrepreneurship among young Indians through industry chapters like India Business Advisory Forum. Dr. Mehta is also a TEDx speaker on a unique subject called the art of slow living, which talks about the importance of living slow in this fast paced world by comparing the happiness strategies of the countries topping the World Happiness Index and also the ancient Indian culture. Dr. Mehta has been a speaker at India's leading institutions covering various topics like ideation and business strategy, biodiversity and environment and mindset rewrite. Sir, we're truly honored to have you here. I now request you to address the bat. Over to you, sir. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Abba. Uh, thank you, Anthony. And uh, my warm regards to Dr. Swati for uh, giving me this opportunity to engage with uh, all of you. Uh, Abai, am I audible? Uh, uh, just yes, want to reconfirm that. Great, great. So actually, I also come back. Uh, uh, if I go back, uh, probably twenty years, I was at the same stage where most of you guys are. Uh, when I myself passed out of my uh, MBA institute in Bombay, Narsi Monji, in the year two thousand and two, uh, and as you also embark upon your new journeys uh, now, uh, post passing out, and uh, you also look forward to a great corporate life. I too also uh, on the same lines uh, moved on to my own corporate journey and today uh, as I speak uh, with you I am also part of the corporate uh, India as well and also I'm a part of the social India because it's very important uh, for people like you, me, all of us because we are eventually going to be the top 10-20% of the strata of the country who would also be looked upon not just to benefit the family or the city you come from or the institute you belong to or the company you work for but uh, the expectations would be in the long run where the country also would expect us to contribute uh, so Abha, thank you for the introduction i would uh, share a presentation uh, with all of you and also i would urge you to uh, note down your questions which we could uh, engage at the end of the session screen uh, visible to everyone yes sir Okay, so as you uh, Ava already spoke about the subject uh, which I'm today going to uh, engage with rather than just talking about is uh, social change in WFH mode, work from home mode. Uh, so I'm sure in the last two years, all of us uh, who never even had heard this word called work from home, even our grandparents or even uh, a small kid in the house would know what uh, work from home means. And uh, that's how the world is changing uh, in times ahead. And even social change, which people usually have a lot of myths around it, that how do I uh, change the world sitting uh, in my own home? That is something which is possible. We have done it much, much longer than what uh, when COVID started, probably 13, 14 years from now. And again, being an MBA myself, like uh, most of you, uh, the skill sets which we gain during our uh, education in the campus and post getting on to the corporate life, the typical management fundamentals and principles are something which are very, very important. They are very, very handy. And let me tell you that uh, people like you and me, we will be able to make the difference in much faster way because of the skills which we possess and the skills which you will now possess once you join the corporate world. Uh, so coming to a quick background on what uh, Empower Foundation uh, does, that's the nonprofit which we started way back in 2008. And predominantly, we work on two areas. One is wildlife and environment conservation. And the second area is youth development. So as you could see on the screen, we have various chapters. Saving the leopards, save our lions. Uh, people who are familiar to Mumbai, uh, there's a green lungs in Mumbai called RA Forest, which was also a part of a lot of uh, citizen movements. So we are very, very integrally involved in the uh, save RA movement. 
and uh, if you look at the youth development chapters uh, we are uh, reaching out to youth in form of uh, india business advisory forum and youth mentors forum so mind you guys uh, this is a non profit run by people who are all working in different areas of life like i am a banker we are people who are from fitness industry to interior designer to medical doctors so on and so forth and we try to spend just a few hours on weekends and let me tell you that even that has created a great impact on grounds i'll clear some myths which uh, people might have in mind uh, as far as uh, making social change is concerned as i move on so broadly if i have to tell you what we uh, do because uh, when you also look at uh, me uh, who's from the corporate world into a full time uh, profession still we are wanting to do some social change we have engaged into various areas where probably we've used our intellect rather than anything else to make that impact so right from creating awareness workshops uh, for people in the rural area in the forest in the urban areas like mumbai how to live with leopards and how to coexist with wildlife to also getting into tribal upliftment where uh, using our resources and network to help them uh, earn a livelihood and very importantly being catalyst between various stakeholders between various governments because the people at the down downward strata the lower strata are not equipped fortunately unfortunately they are not well educated they don't come from a great backgrounds like you and i come from and uh, that's where we with our communication skills can add a huge 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 difference so same goes for research and analytics including uh, engaging with international bodies sometimes let me also tell tell you that we do job much better than even government because of our skills which we uh, possess as mbas and post working in corporate sector uh, the ibaf india business advisory forum uh, focuses on guiding and mentoring young students who want to set up businesses to our own network so that's one way of giving back to the society uh, empower foundation also has been involved in making policies uh, with every uh, different departments right from ministry of msme to uh, forest and environment to youth development and that's the role where we take the ground feedback from the, the lower strata up to the policy making people in the government and ensure that the benefit passes on to the uh, the lower strata uh, so people will have two questions ideally in mind uh, when you come and listen to someone talk about uh, social change you might feel that what is the need of social change but the point is that world is not equal unfortunately uh, there are a lot of inequalities all of us have seen that for so many years and as i said that uh, people like you and me we will be those 5 10% of the strata in time to come uh, and it will be upon us to make the change if not us who will make the world a better place because one way uh, to very simply say is that i am electing my representative i am voting for someone my duty is over but that 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 doesn't uh, mean much because the government also has a very very uh, low number of people on the grounds uh, to do a lot of changes ideally there are more of people who are into governance and creating policies but unless people like us don't get into uh, uh, the whole social circle things will not move as per what it should move if you look at international countries uh, students have a compulsory uh, number of hours right from uh, uh, primary schooling to participate into social change if there is a juvenile crime which happens if a kid is caught doing some crime the court will order him to do a social service for 12 months right from serving newspapers to everyone to to uh, basically uh, weeping floors to even maintaining gardens so that kind of mindset is there internationally A lot of countries like Australia, they join armies. There's compulsory uh, engagement where you get into those areas. Some somehow probably in India, uh, the formal uh, education does not uh, compare when I talk about international markets. But again, uh, as I said, if not us, then who else? And also, uh, there's no point hiding under saying that it's someone else's job because you will always find people saying that, "Boss, ये मेरा काम नहीं है. ये तो municipal corporation का काम है." ये काम मेरा नहीं है ये तो इस डिपार्टमेंट का काम है सो फाइन दे आर पीपल हु आर पेड ऑल ऑफ अस पे टैक्सेस एंड ऑफ कोर्स दे हैव टू डू द जॉब बट आल्सो हु विल मेक देम आंसरेबल हु विल इंश्योर दैट दे आर डूइंग द जॉब करेक्टली हु विल इंश्योर दैट द जॉब इज फैसिलिटेटेड दैट द जॉब बिकम्स मच फास्टर 
it's like people and citizen like us and again uh, being a change maker again being a change maker is not for everyone let me tell you that uh, probably i see 120 30 people in the room here i can definitely tell you 50% of the people might not be able to make become change makers at the end of the day they might just end up uh, going out and voting and uh, sharing a picture on instagram that this is uh, my way of making the social change but there will be definitely more than 50% of the people who will think out of the box who will probably feel from within for any specific cause and consciously subconsciously that person will eventually get involved into some kind of make social change and that's inherent ideally as you look at uh, maslow's uh, uh, law of uh, pyramid typically once you reach a certain level you would definitely think of what next and how can i add value so so let me tell you even first few years first 5 6 years post passing out uh, from mba uh, i was too busy to even set my own things up forget making change on the on the outer world but i think gradually once you, that 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 uh, that kida is in your mind you will eventually end up doing something end up doing some small things and eventually uh, you will be able to participate in a much bigger way and also uh, being a change maker is for those people who want to be remembered as someone beyond uh, that's this is a very very important line and let me tell you uh, ladies and gentlemen that there will be people uh, who will come in the world every minute and there will be people who will go out of the world every minute uh, people might not even remember a lot of people uh, they'll they'll eventually forget but typically if you have done some great social change or if you have impacted certain lives it could be even three or four uh, souls you have touched upon people will remember you and you will get a great amount of satisfaction so so broadly uh, that is why social change is required and also people like us can do that change uh, some myths and blockers which uh, most of us have uh, uh, that uh, probably i will have to devote a lot of time who has that time uh maybe i have to donate a lot of money or if not i have to go and raise contribution i don't want to go and ask for money or uh, will it be very difficult to get people on the grounds uh, because if i do some event or some activity uh yaar agar ghar pe party rakhta hu to dost aa jate hain ya kuch agar project bhi karna hota hai to aadhe log gayab ho jate to social service mein kahan se log aayenge so that definitely is something which people might have a thought in mind also the largest uh, show stopper is that why should i do all this ye karne se kya hoga do i get some results out of it or is this all bullshit this is all uh, waste of uh, time and energy and what will people say uh, that you've been working on a specific area for 6 7 years and you guys are fools you look like fools that nothing has happened but again let me tell you by the end of this presentation all these five points will be absolutely stuck off as just myths which means you don't require a lot of time you don't need money you don't need large number of people on the ground and you don't have to have that mindset what will happen uh, what will be the result what will people say because you will surely find results coming and that's how i would want to share uh, for the presentation with you so a very simply put formula for success social change making a b c d it should be as simple as a small kindergarten child knowing something like it's as simple as a b c d and believe me once you go out and join your respective uh, work and jobs you will be able to easily find little time to just implement and focus on this abcd which is nothing but your own management fundamentals which you've learned in the last 2 years and otherwise and which you will learn further to make a great amount of social impact so let me take you through what typically this abcd means uh, a is basically agenda so all of us have some inherent uh, nature all of us have some inherent likings and typically i'm sure you are aware about this concept of ikigai and if you move ikigai to a different strata you come up with something which is called social ikigai social ikigai is nothing but a combination of three spheres what the world needs what you care about and what you are good at so let me give you a couple of examples here if one of you loves animals i'm sure so many people love animals they have pets at home and you think that the stray dogs are something which is now being deprived and people don't take care of them and there's no social structure around it so of course the world needs equality they need respect for even the stray dog what you care about you care about animals you love them and what you're good at so if you're good at communication if you're good at drawing or creativity 
you can create great awareness campaigns and even basic awareness campaigns can change a lot of stuff. If you are good at talking, you can go to the government and create policies. You can go to the municipal corporation and make a change even in the small society where you live in. So if you look at these three aspects, whenever you choose to do some social work or you choose an area in life, and if these three things marry into a cusp, then you are on the right track. It's a successful and a consistent social cause. It will not end up as a project. And that's what we realized in the last 13 years. And we've been able to continue our journey on some four or five areas consistently. Uh, so if I come to B, I'm sure all of us uh, have learned about branding. Branding is a very, very important uh, subject today. Uh, more so with the social media, etc. coming in. And without branding, no corporates could stand. And similarly, without branding, no social campaign or nothing on the social front would also stay. And I, uh, since I've done my PhD around branding and brand equity, I say that even without branding, you and me as individuals also would not stand. So to even stand out in our in, in campuses, in corporates, we need to ensure that our brands are absolutely fantastic. So just to give you an example uh, and give you a story about RA uh, Forest in Mumbai. So Mumbai is a very, very unique urban city with a beautiful forest inside the city, which is a very, very unique and rare thing in the entire world. It's called Sanjay Gandhi National Park. And thankfully, the park has been reserved. It has got 104 square kilometer of area. It's home to 44 leopards. Huh? Uh, and, and people living around Bombay would have definitely heard and read or even encountered uh, leopards. They're absolutely harmless. And also along with leopards, there's a huge ecosystem of wildlife and biodiversity around it. Adjoining to the Sanjay Gandhi National Park, there was an area called RA Milk Colony, right? It was always a part of Sanjay Gandhi National Park. But then the government gave that land to the dairy department so that people from New Zealand and Australia come, they collaborate with us. And we are able to create a white revolution. Like Amul is the pioneer of white revolution. Similarly, RA Milk Colony was set up. And if you come down to Bombay today, you will find 25, 26 tabelas and a lot of cattle inside the forest area. Having said that, there are also a huge amount of wildlife and biodiversity within RA. Uh, to give you a number, there are nine resident leopards in RA, which is in Jogeshwari Goregao area. And besides leopards, there are a huge amount of uh, wildlife and biodiversity, which is still present. And obviously, people living in Bombay sometimes are aware about this, but a lot of people I have encountered with uh, are not even aware about the rich biodiversity. And obviously, the, the, the name was always RA Milk Colony, so people will not relate with it as a forest. So the first step which we did here is to change all the Twitter handles and whatever communication was happening around it as RA Forest. So the, the, the logo becomes very important, how impactful the logo is, how important is the positioning. So if you look at the Twitter handles or Facebook and Insta handles, everything was RA Forest, RA Forest, RA Forest. Even the hashtags, uh, which used to go out while communicating with the world, started carrying Save RA Forest instead of Save RA. And RA is an area which was some, something a little controversial where the government wanted to create a metro shed and the Mumbai citizen were not wanting to do that because that would impact the environment and the uh, green lungs and it's not great for the future of the new generations. So ideally, this is where the whole branding started. And I'll tell you in the next slides that how that whole branding impacted. If you look at these kind of collaterals, which talks about that RA has nine leopards and it has 16 mammal species and 76 types of bird species. These are collaterals which were created by our NGO. And if you look at all these protests which are happening anywhere in the in in, in the entire city or even it went up to uh, different uh, cities outside Bombay, uh, just Google upon RA protest and you'll find most of the pictures with these very, very powerful, impactful collaterals. So two things, people who are not aware about it get to know that this is a forest. People who are new to Bombay or they are new to the subject of uh, environment will get to know by looking at a placard that there are 76 bird species in RA. There are nine leopards in RA. And that way, more and more people got involved in the whole movement. A lot of new people joined in right from a two-year kid to an 80-year-old uh, senior citizen. And that's how the awareness became very, very strong. 
if you look at uh, uh, these kind of campaigns wherever you go you see ra forest as the branding you see these kind of uh, uh, animals and birds and the typical number which creates a large impact and the impact doesn't just end at the citizen level the impact also goes up to the government level international levels also i'll, I'll show you how that happened so you say this you see the same picture say ra forest a kid holding uh, a large placard and immediately that goes into the times of india bombay times so right from a small protest or small gathering of uh, people wanting to save the forest it reached on the bombay times where uh, not just the citizen could read it but also a lot of influence was from bollywood right from uh, actors like randeep puda or dia mirza or i think there are lots of them uh, who got involved into the whole uh, movement and that was purely and purely a branding uh, effort if 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 we would have just said save ra probably this impact would have been much much lesser so you you could see all the newspapers carrying the same pictures the same branding and the the, the impact has a very very trickling effect it, it doesn't stop at one article it keeps happening keep happening and eventually it starts hammering the right places to an extent that today if you google you will find something called ra forest which was never there though ra was a forest technically but it was always ra milk colony but the pressure was so much that even today on google you can find something called ra forest it doesn't stop here ladies and gentlemen uh, we filed an rti in the year 2019 through which we confirmed again this was a known fact but it got confirmed that there were nine leopards which were trapped in ra which means ra is a forest and the whole branding exercise is rt etc got the central government if you read the headline here that save leopard habitat in ra ministry tells state government and refers the area as forest so look at the kind of effort which just went around in branding which led to even the government somehow acknowledging which is ministry of environment uh, and forest and climate change in delhi Uh, instructing the state government of Maharashtra that RA is important leopard habitat, we save them, and it refers as a forest in the letter. So this is the kind of uh, impact branding could have on a area, and of course the larger impact, as some of you who come from Mumbai would know, that in the year 2020, after probably six seven years of uh, great efforts uh, by all the citizen, uh, citizen citizen groups, NGOs, and young and small kids, and to large celebrities and older people. finally the government of maharashtra for the first time in the entire history of war, the world normal land area of 800 acres and merged it into the forest which is sanjay gandhi national park so ideally it's the vice versa which happens that people basically delist the forest and try to do some development around it but here thanks to the uh, efforts on the ground and the branding per se that the government also took cognizance of the fact that how important it is to preserve a very very important green lung for mumbai uh, so that was one example on branding uh, now let me come to communication uh, and i'm sure all of us uh, have learned communication and let me also tell you post uh, working for 20 years that communication becomes the most important tool not the second most or third most the most important tool in your corporate life and otherwise also in your social life also you might have a fantastic content you might have the best of the data but if you are not able to communicate that effectively then there's no point of that data so how did we do use our communication skills to make a larger social impact uh, this is just to tell you a, a kind of a letter which we uh, wrote to the international union of conservation of nature and united nations so thanks to when i say Uh, in the topic that using management fundamentals uh, people like you and i uh, are equipped to know and find out who shall we communicate with otherwise people will keep fighting and asking for things locally we thought why not take this whole matter internationally because it's not just bombay's responsibility it's not just maharashtra or india's respons responsibility it's the world's responsibility to preserve and conserve the wildlife of uh, ra and so one a we chose uh, the very very different forum which is an international forum b we did a very very great analytical job rather than just randomly uh, writing a demand or asking for something we did an analytical job by pointing out that there are 290 species in ra and randomly uh, uh, this number didn't come up there were 
too much of research and citations because it's very important when you engage with uh, any authority and out of which we carved out five category of wildlife which are in the red list of IUCN and that's a very important thing which means that these five categories are vulnerable or about to be extinct or something and they require international attention. So right from a leopard to a sambar to a rusty spotted cat to a red wattle lockwing and this report created a huge amount of impact. Media covered the same thing saying that evidence of 290 wildlife species in RA uh, spoke about all the different wildlife species even wildflowers and uh, spiders and amphibians uh, a step ahead and that got more attention on the entire matter. A lot of young people came in to do photography. They started clicking pictures of wildlife and all those things had a trickling effect on the whole issue. Same thing happened with the Asiatic lions where we did again use our intellect rather than going on the ground and collecting 500 people. Let us save our lions and all. It doesn't work. People don't have time. In Bombay, even my own brother doesn't have time to come and sit with me to discuss things. Where will I get 200 people? So there we use our intellect. We did an analytic research, worked with the state government, got data and presented it to the right forum saying that you cannot forcibly pull out lions from one state and throw them and dump them into another state. If you want to do it, you have to follow certain guidelines. No one had looked upon it. IUCN had laid that guidelines. And we also need to look at what are the best practices in the world and see simply thing. Uh, if you look back to your own profiles, I'm sure you would have you would have done some projects in your MBA days, be it summer projects or even uh, corporate projects, where you, done, you would have done the same thing. You have gone back to uh, the drawing board, understood what has been the historic data points, what has been uh, the past trend and track record, and basis that you would recommend something. It is as simple as that. But unfortunately, in social area, uh, we don't have MBAs like you and me who would probably learn that and implement that on grounds. But if you do that, it has a huge impact. Today, as we speak, uh, lions are not forced into a state like Madhya Pradesh, which wanted lions for a tourism perspective. And on the other side, we are now promoting them to uh, migrate lions naturally into their natural ge geographies so that there is no risk of uh, epidemic on one single segment. Because India is the only country in the world which is home to Asiatic lions. And there's no point of uh, risking everything in one basket. So that's a different strategy. But the point I'm trying to hear, uh, I'm trying to make here is how your communication can play a very, very impactful role. This is a very recent uh, uh, example. If you I'm given to understand some of you are working uh, from home, yet the college is not yet open. But whoever is in Bombay would have uh, probably read this in the newspapers in the last two months, that there was a huge amount of uh, garbage issue in RA. So again, this is one example where uh, even all of us will come across in life. I and my wife were walking into the RA forest and there was a huge amount of garbage around it. Because since the last one and a half, two years of COVID, uh, people were not around and there were a lot of uh, external forces coming and throwing debris and construction waste inside RA because no one is there to check. And uh, I said, let us escalate this to the government. And she had a very simple uh, and a flat expression on her face. Why the hell you want to waste your time? Kuch hone nahi wala hai. Hum garbage ke baare mein likhenge, kuch farak nahi padta. Kisi ko koi matlab nahi hai. There's no point. Don't waste your time. I said, no, no, let's not do that. We've been working tirelessly and we can't let our own neighborhood uh, go into dumps. So what we did is very simple. We created a two-page letter with annexures. And very clearly, as you see on the left side of the slide, we showed the connection of leopard attacks in RA to garbage and also showed connections of garbage being burnt in forest fires and encroachments happening. And a very, very innovative, innovatively using communication uh, tool uh, like GPS camera, we clicked 56 pictures of garbage across various areas of RA, as you could see on the middle slide, with latitude and longitude and submitted it to the government. And Again, nothing happened for two months and my wife was laughing out. And she was telling also my extended family that, oh, come on, this, this guy is wasting his time trying to click pictures of garbage and sending it to the government. But again, we had an experience that even in, as an NGO, uh, certain things work, certain things don't work, but there's no harm in doing it. And one fine day, we got a call from the forest department that our minister for environment, Aditya Thakare, got hold of the report and he had called for an internal meeting 
to ensure that this is addressed. And then by the virtue of that, the entire system was shaken. We were asked to give a presentation to the MLA, the forest department, MCGM, and the entire government authorities, all the stakeholders were asked to address this issue within no time. And it started with those 56 locations which we have only cleaned. So imagine uh, this is possible. And in a matter of three hours, 17 tons of garbage was picked out of Arde. And today also, there's a consistent way of managing that waste. So a simple letter with a strategic way of writing it with a great amount of technology into it and perseverance into it could also lead to a great amount of action on the ground. And also, uh, one important thing which happened was that when we tweeted this, uh, Twitter is one of the best uh, platforms to reach out to any government uh, in the country. There were a lot of uh, reactions on the Twitter and a lot of retweets and some influencers, some film stars, etc. also retweeted it. So, of course, that also uh, build the necessary pressure which was required for this. Uh, this is again a latest uh, communication in uh, which is February 27th. We wrote to the government that there are uh, a lot of fires in the forest, some of them deliberate ones to encroach. And as a simple MBA student, like a summer intern, we went and clicked pictures of the very, very old fire station which was there with GPS. We checked it with the local people, uh, local mechanics, whether there's a water connection, whether there's electric electricity connection, and submitted a letter to all the right stakeholders through physical format, through emails, and even through WhatsApp. And this is midday, which is of probably 10th of March, just two days back, that they've covered a story. Tomorrow, Hindustan Times is covering a story. And by the virtue of this simple communication, the government has agreed to start this fire station. And this small letter, which took us hardly one hour or one and a half hour to write, including going and clicking the picture, would save so many trees and so many animals in the forest because there will be a fire station which will start operation within RA in no time. So this is another example. So if you look at these examples, uh, it's very important to note that our uh, communication has to be data-backed. We have to have a scientific angle to it. And let me also tell you guys, I am not a biologist. I am not a zoologist. I am not an environmentalist, which people call us. I am a pure play commerce graduate from Sinzibes College, Calcutta. I did my MBA in marketing and strategy from Narsi Monji in the year 2002. And I did my PhD also around in the same area. But still, we are working on environment. Today, we are considered as one of the most expert NGOs as far as environment is concerned. So again, if you have basic common sense, you need not be a zoologist or a biologist or a, uh, an expert into the forest. You could still go out and make huge amount of impact. And today, there are a lot of areas which we don't understand. We are not a scientist. We are not a, even a science graduate. But we have so many zoologist guys who are working with us. And they collaborate with us to tell us how to approach things in a different way. So if you have the will, if you have the attitude, you, can, you will find a lot of other people to collaborate with you on a certain agenda. So again, when your data is presented, it has to have citations, references. It has to be pictorially representable, which means it has to have a tabular way of talking. It has to have photographs because no one has time. I have seen ample amount of NGOs working for last 20, 30 years. Nothing happened because they randomly write long, long letters. Charlie's 50 page ka chitti lik denge. Uh, no formatting no highlighting and that is some, something which you learned in the last two years and you will be able to do it much better how to present thing in much more stronger and impactful way because even politicians even government don't have time you just saw that letter which went to the fire department where the chief fire officer committed us is simply the the letter spoke about some data points 50 fires in the past 11 fires now the solution so which means our communication also has to be crisp and solution oriented. There's no point of telling the government, this is the problem, solution And the government the The problem here is that typically we crib and we just crib. Half the people don't even communicate after cribbing. They just crib in their own circles. And people who communicate don't communicate effectively. And probably 10-20% of the people who effectively communicate, government is happy. The only thing is government doesn't get the right data in the right way to look at it. Also, you need to address it to multiple stakeholders. 
uh, it's, it's very simple. Uh, let me give you a practical example of your campus. If you want 100 companies to come, you will go and approach 300 companies because not everyone is going to come. I'm sure your placement team does that. Even if you're doing an event, you will go to 50 sponsors thinking that dust to hangi. Similarly, if you have a concern, write to 10 stakeholders because every issue will have multiple stakeholders. So that is very important. And also, digitally also, you need to be aware of how to manage it and also physically because a lot of things work on a physical format. A lot of people send out letters on emails. Sometimes emails are not construed as official communications. Some people even take actions on WhatsApp. So the communication strategy has to be through multiple routes. Now, let me take you to the last part of it, uh, which is uh, D. What is D? D is digital and digital is the mantra today. Whatever we do today, whatever even probably except, uh, I think even breathing has been digital. We were ordering oxygen cylinders on a digital mode. So eating is oxygen, drinking is oxygen, Zomato, Swiggy, you, you are digitally ordering your food. So the life has become digital. How can social uh, change making be avoided without digital and Twitter is something which is a very very impactful tool to make any kind of social change and try that yourself even smallest of the problem you ha have around your home around your area tag the right guys their bosses their bosses bosses the right ministers right people right influencers and that issue will get resolved one classic example which I want to talk to uh, you guys about uh, in this session is this COVID lockdown which happened. And like we had work from home, all of us were working from home, you guys were studying from home. And that flavor was work from home. So we say that boss, if you can work from home, it doesn't mean that we stop working for the society. And of course, society was going through great amount of pain. A lot of migrants were moving out of the cities and there were issues around food and basic uh, livelihood. And then we create, and people like us were also free. Yeah? There was not much of work at office also. We were for, forced to even cook at home by our spouses or whatever, participate in the home uh, and the rest of the work. So, so, of course, people had time. People had a will and intention. A lot of people even had money that I want to do something for the uh, people on the ground. But no one had the courage to go out and give food with their own hands. And that's a very natural thing people will have in mind. So here we did a fantastic collaboration. Digitally, we were able to serve more than 30,000 meals to more than 2,500 migrants. This is how we managed. We collaborated with Yuva Halla Bol. That's another non-profit which typically works in Delhi, UP, Bihar. Most of the migrants typically come in from those states. They gave a helpline number. And this helpline number was given to a chacha or a mama in UP, which has given his brother WhatsApp. Everyone is on WhatsApp. That boss, you are in Bombay, you are in Kalyan, you are in Chakan, you are not getting food, this is the number, try it. So a guy in Chakan called up this number saying that I am in Chakan. There are 10 people with me. We don't have food. Then these guys connected us because we were the NGO which is working in Maharashtra, Karnataka and the Gujarat region. And we simply did nothing but connected to the right guys in Chakan. There were either local NGOs or Gurudwaras or even government bodies. Let me tell you, government bodies, huh, be it from any party, whether it's in power, in opposition, in small party, in big party, everyone was working selflessly as far as COVID is concerned. Everyone, in every government officer, be it the police or the municipal corporation, were doing a fantastic job. The problem was they didn't know ki khana pochana kise. And that's where digitally we plugged the gap. That we got the number of the Bhatija in Chakan, jiske chacha ne usko bula ki bhai ye number pe call karo. He called this number. This number forwarded us the lead. We connected with the Chakan ka MLA, the MP, the corporator. And sabka phone number mil jata hai aapko mobile pe. Aapka, uh, on the internet. You can call them, you can tweet them. And then we directly shared the picture. We asked them to supply food and even the politicians were active on Twitter because they were the visibility and social media. So immediately they were looking at the tweet, sending their people with food and we would get a picture from the same Bhati Jada, the Mazdoor in Chakan. Thank you so much, we got food. We used to put that picture, thank that MLA and that MLA was so happy that at least I am giving food, I am reaching 
same way you can look at the police solapur police the picture in between they are saying thank you sir because they we, we wrote to the dgp maharashtra and the solapur police and they managed to give the food to 50 workers who were in distress so so on and so forth a lot of mlas mps police even lot of social groups on the ground imagine there was a group in bhivandi jiske paas mein food hi food hai lekin wo ja ke kahan dega wo thodi na raste mein le ja ke ghumta rahega aao aao kisko khana chahiye aisa possible nahi hai so that is where we used digital technology to help from home we had 30 35 volunteers none of us have stepped out of our home in those two months but sitting at home we were able to ensure that we reach those needy people with food with ration with milk with, with medical support and the satisfaction was immense the kind of blessing from these souls which we got is immense even today sometimes these guys send us message on diwali and all and they send pictures of their kids growing up so that was the kind of connect we were able to establish thanks to the digital if you look at the social media uh, which is today the most happening thing and nothing can beat as far as influencers on social media is concerned because if i have an agenda in mind i will take probably 1 hour to do something if it goes through the right channel or the right guy pushes that it will have a huge 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 impact 100x 200x so if you look at our pages which is on twitter or insta we have most of the times uh, people like dia mirza or ravina tandon or randeep huda liking them because they are pro environment they support environment and of course our ngo will have hardly a few hundreds of followers a thousand of flower followers randeep dia and all will have millions and similarly when your content or when your agenda goes through such influencers the impact is extremely extremely huge as you could see on the right side these are the people from bollywood who supported the entire ra campaign and let me share with you a small video which uh, we have collated uh, and this collection of video the content available on public domain was collated and the collection itself created a huge impact that people had to listen to because people will listen to you and me we are normal citizen these guys are influencers they have lakhs and uh, crores of citizens behind them they will be able to influence things so let me show you this video colony is being cut down bit by bit to build a metro shed the metro shed will be a boon for the city most definitely but not at the cost of our environment why destroy our only green lungs when other options are available to us and i condemn the cutting of uh, all the green trees of ra colony because this is the only belt which is left uh, green in our city the green of ra colony gives shelter to so many animals and it is giving so much of power to the lungs of the people so please save our green belt i strongly strongly condemn the cutting of our trees these trees which are standing there silently and serving us these trees which are providing us with invaluable source of life with fresh air oxygen and they ask for nothing it's free of cost so in the name of development if we destroy them it would be our ignorance it would be our greed and it would be irreversible please don't let it happen save our trees a colony is a very precious part of mumbai it's the lungs of mumbai it's the only green wealth we have left so please don't cut down the trees in ra par ra ke bare mein jo mujhe lagta hai ki wo बिल्कुल वाइल्ड लाइफ को हमें डिस्टर्ब नहीं करना चाहिए आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव द राइट कि आरे जंगल जो है हमारी मुंबई के लंग्स हैं हमारे लिए ऑक्सीजन है ये हमारी सांस को ना घोटें और आरे जंगल ग्रीन बेल्ट है इसको काटना ना सिर्फ अनएथिकल है गलत है बल्कि 
क्रिमिनल भी है मेरे हिसाब से आप कहते हैं कि जो है आप पेड़ काटे जा रहे हैं बुरी तरीके से हर जगह और उससे भी तकलीफ की बात है कि हम चुप हैं बोलते नहीं हैं इसके बारे में आवाज़ रेज नहीं करते आर ए प्लांटेशन एक बहुत ही बड़ी मतलब एक बम्बई का एक लॉत लंग्स कह सकते हैं इसको और कहीं ग्रीनरी बची ही नहीं है देखिए इतना बुरा असर पड़ेगा वातावरण पर पर्यावरण पर बच्चों के जीने पर हमारे जीने पर हम वक्त रहते आवाज़ उठाएं ऐसा नहीं कि बहुत देर हो जाए India not just in India actually in all of the world and we owe it to the children we owe it to the future generations to present them with the best possible environment in which they can grow up development can never be at the cost of the environment please do not cut down the RA forest RA which is one of the lungs of our city one of the green zones of our city is being threatened as we speak by a metro station by a metro shed and by other ancillary commercial exploitation make sure your voice is heard and you save the lungs of your city are the lungs of mumbai will it remain so i want to save it do you ki ye jo development ke naam par are ke jangalon ki bali chadhane jane ka plan hai please iska punar vichar kare ispe dobara soche save are ye ped hamara jeevan hai hamari saase hai hamare bachcho ka bhavishya hai हमारे फेफड़े हैं अगर मेट्रो का शेड बनना है कहीं और बन सकता है नहीं भी बन सकता लेकिन उन जंगलों की कीमत पर नहीं प्लीज प्लीज सेव आ रहे मैं साक्षी तंवर आरे के पेड़ों और जंगलों के कटने का कड़ा विरोध करती हूँ हम सबको मिलके इसे रोकना चाहिए This is the only green belt of our city, the lungs of Mumbai. अगर हम चाहते हैं कि आने वाले वक्त में हमारे बच्चे खुली हवा में सांस ले सकें तो इन जंगलों को काटने से रोकिए प्लीज बचाइए इन पेड़ों को आई रणवीर कपूर स्ट्रॉन्गली कंडेम दटिंग ऑफ आर ए ट्रीज दे शुड बी सेव्ड बिकॉज देर दी ग्रीन बेल्ट लेफ्ट एंड लंग्स टू दिटी ऑफ मुंबई सेव योर सिटी से No, so you can look up to this video uh, on our YouTube channel called Empower Foundation, and uh, no one, single person, can take credit of saving the forest. It was a citizen movement. Uh, these uh, Bollywood celebrities also should be given due credits, and even the people who went and got these videos uh, in their own personal capacities. So uh, when we talk about digital mode, widely uh, these kind of videos make a huge, huge impact. Uh, Uh, as i said power of video so uh, one more example here is that we did something very innovative is that we uh, uh, got kids along uh, so of course my son uh, who was in probably class uh, uh, one at that point of time uh, and his friends typically uh, because a lot of young guys were coming into the forest and it's important for us to also imbibe that culture of nature and environment in young kids and idly they made a small video requesting prime minister modi to uh, save the uh, green lungs of mumbai and eventually then we were told that boss we should also communicate to the japanese prime minister because jica japan is the development agency which is also supporting uh, the development here and the request was very simple uh, that we were not against metro it was very important to, uh, and it is important to have uh, metro and the local transportations but uh, when there are seven eight options available uh, where there is not much of wildlife and biodiversity why do you want to get into ra so the same kids also uh, made a video translated their basic basic languages again due to paucity of time i have not put that here it's there on the youtube channel they spoke in japanese it's, it, it takes hardly a few minutes of practice to learn basic basic lines and one of the nuclear uh, 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 environmentalist in japan retweeted that and it reached the right places also and then the kids were invited to meet uh, aditya thakre and uh, that's how uh, even young kids like these got involved into the whole campaign and it took it to the next level and again uh, it was all the power of digital uh, without digital uh, these kind of videos would not have been put and they would not have reached uh, so many people around Uh, so when we talk about digital it's very important to talk about uh, this very very important tool called rti right to information 
so as the constitution says uh, people who are citizen of india you and me we have right to each and every information in the government space any anything so even ye road banane mein kitne paise lage usse lekar is train mein kitni seat khali thi because railways is government entity so any any damn thing uh, you can ask and the government is supposed to answer that A lot of people are not aware about the power of rti uh, we got lot of information through rti today rti can be done digitally sitting at home you have to just pay 10 rupees and uh, just google it up and this is the best way to get your data from the government and once you have the data you guys are mbas you know how to play with it how to impact your agenda when you have data in hand so uh, this itself is a very very deep subject uh, uh, people who are interested to make social change can google it up it's very easy very simple uh, you can find the department you want to know or ask a question about and then you can basically get the information there are various levels the first level probably will dodge you then there's a second the first appeal and the second appeal etc but the point uh, which is a limited point here is that digitally even without going out of your home you can use this tool which is a very very powerful tool another powerful tool is uh, basically digital petitions so there are petitions where uh, if you have a issue in mind and you want more people to endorse it or you want more people uh, because in a place like uh, bombay or even india getting so many people which you see internationally sometimes challenging because half of the time goes traveling and uh, people have their own uh, cores and uh, things to manage but digitally everyone can sign a petition if there's a concern that someone wants to work for stray dogs and someone says that no boss you cannot pick away stray dogs they are also souls and lives and you want to tell the government that it's not just me who's saying that with me there are 1 lakh people who are saying it obviously the, the the narrative changes with the number of people who will sign that and there are also digital petitions which can go to the email id of the concerned officer it could be a minister it could be a, a bureaucrat that every time someone signs that that gentleman will get a email so imagine a situation that there is a bad road and that no one is addressing that road and you know the number of the pune municipal uh, commissioner or someone from the pune municipal corporation and you have his email id simply the petition will keep sending in mails and obviously yaar aapke mail mein agar 500 mail aa jati hai to you will also look at the issue na you will not ignore that issue see the objective is how do you highlight your issue once that is highlighted let me tell you with our experience of 13 years most of the government uh, entities government people be it bureaucrat or minister are having that will to do things but they don't get right data they don't get the right uh, priorities and that's why things get delayed or sometimes they don't happen on the ground so that is something on digital petitions so again if i have to summarize uh, which is very simple if you follow this a b c d uh agenda uh have a very very focused approach which area you want to work on maybe you you are going to pass out you might not have time for the next few years but if you start making some ground and trying to write a blog or try to uh clip pictures and share it on insta that's also creating awareness you don't have to do something big you don't have to work with government for making change it could be even at your society level at the small corporate level branding uh very important uh that is something which can change the flavor of the whole thing and make it more impactful a right way of communication and again adopting digital uh, way of um, doing things which is very important so broadly that's uh, in a nutshell a very simple formula a b c d which could uh, help you probably make impact in a very very fast way uh, of course there are various other options there are awareness programs where you uh, can conduct where you physically go get hold of a lot of people you it could be on any subject it could be on a very uh, different subject like use of sanitary pads in young girls say lekar uh, going to old uh, people and talking about mental health uh, you not you don't have to have skills or you don't have to be a psychologist if you have the attitude you have google bhagwan you will find all content available there you learn yourself if you want to polish yourself and do some professional uh, learning you do that and then if you have the villain attitude you can add value to any any strata in the uh, social arena and of course you can participate in policy making suggestions a lot of government bodies are mandated to invite suggestions from citizens from citizen bodies no one even bothers to communicate and 
and you are supposed to do that they will call you for consultation and then you will see when your suggestions are implemented how empowered you are of course complaints are there there are legal options also so since we are working in corporates we avoid ourselves we don't get into filing pil so doing cases and all of course there are various ngos who do that and that also uh, has a very very impactful uh, results and of course there are various constitutional methods uh, which you can adopt uh, of course the most underlying thing is never go against the law and if you're working along with the government the government also will support you uh, and broadly that is something which you should keep in mind uh, probably my last or the second last slide is uh, very clearly uh, when we see people i see my peers who are 20 years into corporate life and they say are yaar ye check donate karte hain ya kargil mein itni ladai ho gayi maine na yahan pe 10000 rupaye de diye so to me i think i i don't value that huh? but there are people who will value it people will say nahi nahi yaar that is also important but to me it's like teaching how to fish is more important than giving away fishes kyunki humne kiya tha pehle jab hum 13 saal pehle jaate the we used to carry old clothes sabke ghar mein diwali mein purane kapde nikalte hain kya kare chalo tribal area mein ja rahe hain sabko de dete hain sab khush ho jate hain par wo kya hoga aap 2 saal jaoge teesre saal jaoge nahi then the guys are at the same level they will again do wrong things they will beg they will borrow they will steal some of them will so so what's the point rather we started giving our time we went there and taught them how do you use your wardly art which you are painting so nicely on a lamp shade and took the guy who makes lamp shade and told him that boss ye tumhara art banayega tum usko bechoge so we just connected people and that's what you learn in your mba just connect to people teach them how to fish rather than giving him fish again as i said time is more important than money see money aaj aap nahi doge 10 20 saal baad aap bhi bologe chalo let me donate this and you will feel proud that i have donated this that's also important some of you might also be able to cut large checks as csr when you reach a good level but to my mind uh, that that time which you will give will be much more impactful because that will touch more souls that will touch more people because money will be one time even if you have a consistent way i know people who year on year have sponsored a child's education so theek hai har saal aap usko 10000 20000 rupaye de rahe ho kal bachcha bada ho ke padhega you will feel very good so i am not demeaning the point it's good money is also required as far as social services concerned but only money is not required so a lot of people don't get into this area saying ki boss main pehle khud khao ya dusre ko do ya Boss, I also have so much of responsibilities. What do I do? Boss, give time. We have a lot of time. We waste a lot of time. So if you even just carve out one or two hours in a week on a Saturday, Sunday, you can do immense impact. Also, no need of looking at a huge population. Okay, man, a so long ki zindagi badal dunga. That's not <laughs> required. Just impact a few. Impact someone who's in front of you. Take up a small assignment around your home. Try to clean up a certain area or go and teach some people. and that impact itself is important because aap jaise 10 log ka life change karoge waise aapke jaise aur 10000 log 10 log ka life change karenge the impact is going to grow larger and again uh, people uh, people like us will uh, not have large teams to work for us and we are not formal organizations who are funded by uh, uh, government or uh, internationally so let us become a catalyst because it's very important I remember even a small tribal who didn't had electricity was going to the discom office every day, every third day. Jute gista tha aur wo usko bhaga dete the. Humne kuch nahi ek simple Marathi mein chitti likha, usko diya, usko bola ye ja kar do, uska acknowledgement lao, aur fir is chitti ke upar the jaate raho. And then we helped him write letters to higher level, simple letter writing, which probably you learn in class five, was able to get him electricity. So that is what we became. catalyst that the guy does not know how to communicate i know how to communicate i know who to communicate with i don't want to go every day he will go but let me make his journey important and jab zarurat padi na jab aap corporate level pe ek level pe aa jaoge you will be so powerful that you will give a couple of calls and those things will be done and ultimately no one will refuse because it's for the larger good so broadly these are few points i thought i should uh, summarize with and again uh, i'm sure this uh, these myths which we spoke about are busted that you require a lot of time to do a social change or do something for the people so that's not true do i need to donate raise or contribute money no that's not true so 13 years we have not we have not taken a single rupee from any corporate any government state or center or any international level it is purely the money which i or my friends or other 
फाउंडर्स गेट इन देर ओन सैलरी स्लिप उसमें से हम हर साल कुछ ना कुछ डोनेट करते हैं बट अगेन वी गिव टाइम वी गिव आर कनेक्ट एंड नेटवर्क एंड वी आर एबल टू क्रिएट लॉट ऑफ इम्पैक्ट सो द मिथ दैट बॉस यू रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड टू डू अ सोशल चेंज इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी रॉन्ग मिथ अगेन विल आई गेट पीपल ऑन द ग्राउंड नॉट रिक्वायर्ड और जब अगर आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव uh, इतना सही होगा ना तो ऑटोमेटिकली पीपल आ जाएंगे वो जो हिंदी में कहते हैं ना कि आप चलते गए और कारवा बनता गया and you've seen that in so many times when the cause is strong and automatically you will find other ngos or other citizen groups or other people who will collaborate and things will uh, happen you don't have to get those people on the ground and also will i will my efforts bear results the results ke liye kya kaam karna hai enjoy the journey i'm telling you results have to come and people will laugh at you also people used to laugh at us kyunki aaj tak पूरे दुनिया के विश्व के इतिहास में किसी ने कोई जंगल बचाया नहीं है जंगल हमेशा कटते ही हैं बट जब सात साल बाद जंगल के 800 एकड़ जंगल को दिए गए थे तो वही सब जो लोग हंस रहे थे ना वो गायब हो गए एंड दैट गिव्स एन इमेंस कॉन्फिडेंस दैट इट इज पॉसिबल एंड आइडियली वी डोंट नो लॉट ऑफ पीपल डोंट कवर दैट इन मीडिया बट इट इज पॉसिबल देर कुड बी स्मॉल विक्ट्रीज देर कुड बी डिलेड विक्ट्रीज and we are not here to think about what people will say because whenever i go out on saturdays and sundays now people think very differently earlier they used to think abey jungal mein jaake time waste kar rahe hain are boss jungal mein jaake maze bhi to kar rahe hain we are looking at something which no one is allowed to look at so of course uh, the wildlife is there the nature is there and uske sath sath social contribution bhi ho raha hai and today when people see result every third day there is a media article even without us wanting to uh, talk about so that is something which will happen it could be any area you choose people will some people will say you are wasting your time your family will say what the hell you are doing kya time barbaad kar rahe ho aisa nahi if you have conviction if you have attitude then there is nothing which is going to stop you and very simply someone has said you have to be the change wo pata nahi kisne kaha tha koi to bade aadmi ne kaha tha but i don't believe that you have to be the change maker so this picture depicts that today there will be so many people around you everyone will be running the same rat race aajkal wo rat race ko humne naam badal ke na uh, treadmill test kar diya rat race mein to wo rat aage bhagta rehta hai treadmill treadmill test mein na wo wahi usi jagah pe bhagta rehta hai wo bechara aage bhi nahi ja pa raha he is there on the same place everyone will be running and busy with their own lives there will be a very few like this man in red who will be able to impact he will be able to impact people around him he will be able to impact the society and he will be the only people who will be remembered baaki log aayenge jayenge pata bhi nahi chalega so broadly yes that's it from my end uh, i would love to connect with anyone who wants to know more about us or if who has any idea and wants to know how to take it forward uh, my social media handles my email id and my uh, whatsapp number is there on the screen i'll hold it for a minute so maybe you want to take a screenshot or note it down you can do that uh with that we come to the end of the session thank you sir for the enlightening and interesting address i'm sure each and every one of us will look to contribute to the issues that you mentioned today and create difference we now conclude today's session and we thank our guest for joining us today we also thank the academic department for organizing this session and the cp team for their contribution to the same thank you the student managers can knock out thank you so much sir thank you thank you so much aba thank you everyone for joining in highly appreciate it best of luck thank you jalpi sir thank you thank you sir